welcome back to the vlog. Welcome here to Malamunda, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan, this is Jeff. Um, muddy day out here at Malamunda. This was our second try in here. We actually were trying to land here, what, an hour or so ago? Almost two hours ago. Couldn't land due clouds. Went up to Yiffy, did our stop up there. Barely could land due clouds. Now we came back here and heading back to Wewak. So I was planning on actually filming the flight up to Yifki. That didn't work, so we're improvising and heading back to Wewak now on a, what, a 30 or 35 minute flight? I think 35? Go ahead and call it Moore's you're getting going. Moore's V6598, November Tango Zulu taxi. November Tango Zulu, must be go ahead. Morning, good November Tango Zulu taxi, Malamunda, Wewak, two POB. November Tango Zulu, traffic is Mike Russell Hotel, Susan Caravan, departed Mount Hagen for Ambonti. 10,000 estimating overhead Malamanda 10,000, 0,1,0. I'm sorry, say again for Mike Alpha Hotel, his destination is Ambunti and he departed from where? November single solo traffic, Mike Alpha Hotel departed Hagen, departed Hagen for Ambunti. The time is 2334, Malamanda 1-0, I'm going to see by time 0 0 November Tango Zulu, thanks. I was confused, I was like, Mike, I have a hotel, that's the guy in Wewak, not Hagen, and then it didn't dawn on me, because Ambunti's way over there, why would he be coming over here if he's leaving from Wewak, so. Sure. But he's not, he's going from Hagen. I'm seeing some breakups over on this side, so I think I'll take off and then just kind of make a slow right turn uh, for the ridges over here. I guess we can look at, at the, the runway too. Uh, when we turn around up here, then we'll take a look at it. It's a pretty quick turn right after takeoff, just because of the hill in front okay. of us. So this is Jeff's very first time landing in here. Today in Tamalamunda. Take a look sure. at this, so yeah. just for next time, see what that brown spot is yep, at the I very do. top? That's perfectly in line with the runway. So okay. if you're turning at that point, you're gonna overshoot, overshoot it. So you gotta just anticipate rolling out. Pulling out basically right on top of wherever that hut is that's being built up there. So yeah, after takeoff, it's gonna be a fairly quick, um, aggressive turn to get out of here. Okay. And then we'll just head out this way until we can um, more than likely, what I usually do is I come out here and then I do a left-hand turn back over top the ridge sure. and get out that way. If you do a right-hand turn, we are empty. We could potentially do it, but it, it's, it, gonna be it's tight. just going to be a little bit more tight. I guess we are empty. We could potentially even just go straight ahead today and then and then make a, light, like a wide right turn. Usually I'm coming out with people, so that's maybe why I would do that. But yeah, because we're light, let's see if we can't do that. Just, just get up, up and over straight up and then make a right hand turn like you were talking about. All right, so um, I want to see 35 knots. I, I bet you we're going to see it by the first count. Just we're light, we're downhill. Um, and uh, yeah, so and I think that'll be, I mean, for the slick as it is, that's probably a good safe aboard point as well. Um, full reverse max braking, flaps up, cut off, pull off and turn off if we're going off at the end. And, and after rotation, um, it's going to be APL, that doesn't do anything, it's going to be idle feather, cut off, pull off, and turn off, and then we're pitching, if we're at, so we're looking at 6, or 93, 90, 85, and 80 for our flap speeds, it's going to be a hard right turn, uh, pitching forward, and uh, up the valley. All right, yep, block it in, and uh, it's going to be kind of bouncy, so don't fight it at all, yep. just let it skim across the top of the ground. And we're probably going to start slipping, so just be ready to the release release, and finish up pushing the rest of the power in that we need to. All right, 1420. That's so holding good. All right. All right, there's our speed alive.
I'm at 11 to 12, kind of in between that, just for reference when your light yep. gives us our 73. Just we we're talking about this earlier on one of our flights. We're doing good over the top of the ridge. Oh yeah. Pitching over for a little more airspeed. Might bank this way just to give me a little bit more room in the 500. Turn. 90, accelerating, flops coming up. Shin inlet and lights. And then get our prop back. All right, well, let's see how far are we off of or we actually want. And usually this way makes the most sense, usually, unless it's just packed all the way. Okay. There's be one for correction of six, five, nine, or eight, November Tango Zulu departure. Part of problem on the time, zero five, tracking zero one seven, on climb, or 5,000 on climb, not above nine or thousand. Estimate, WEWAC, uh, four, zero, November Tango Zulu. Affirm, November Tango Zulu. And November Tango Zulu. Secondary, we are calling one six six decimal seven, no contact, return this frequency. One two six decimal seven or six five nine or eight, November Tango Zulu. In regards to when we were just taking off here, I'm just talking to the cameras to let them know what I'm in ref referencing to. Remember how we were talking about we have a go around procedure where we say, you know, power up, pitch for 73 or 20 degrees, pitch for 73 knots, um, and then reset our ITT or our torque, whatever we're setting at the time, depending on our altitude. And we were just, uh, we're trying to like, especially for me sitting in this seat, as opposed to doing it. It's one thing when you're doing it, like you don't really have time to necessarily think about your processes, but sitting in this seat and then watching actually doing things, then you kind of start thinking maybe we could do this more efficiently and maybe not not uh, requiring as much thinking when you're doing a go around if you weren't thinking on it. So kind of what I was proposing was rather than saying pitching for 73, because now you're watching your airspeed, which is like on a tape and it's like your numbers are going, you know, moving as opposed to just saying pitch for, let's say 11 degrees because we know that it's around 11 to 13, depending on your weight, will give us our 73 knots. So if we say pitch for 11, Alpha Hotel 1267. I think that was Mike Alpha Hotel, I think. I didn't quite hear him. Mike Alpha Hotel, November Tango Zulu, go ahead. Mike Alpha Hotel, uh, currently uh, trucking uh, northwest for Ambunti, uh, just past the beam, Malamanda, so you climbing out of there. I'm passing 9,000 on this end. Yeah, should be below your level as we pass. Uh, how was Malamanda? I'm doing there later. Yeah, Malamanda was uh, was nice when we landed um, just about, yeah, 10, 10, 15 minutes ago. I don't know about the water. Let them know about how wet it was. Micro Hotel, thanks. Yeah, Micro Hotel, the only thing is, uh, yeah, the one way is a little bit wet, so it makes it a little slick, uh, but we came in fairly light, didn't have any trouble getting stopped by the top. I'll be uh, so that's just something I think I might start incorporating in my go-around procedures when I'm talking about is power up. And what I mean by that is I'm just watching this little white needle here. So if I'm basically below 5,000 feet, one, six, seven, one, I'm watching the needle for torque. And if I'm over 5,000 feet MSL, then I'm going to be watching more of my ITT because that's what's going to be detrimental to the engine. Yeah, now it's going to be, you know, power up, pitch for 11, Mike, I follow them, I'll see one, two, 16, 20 degrees seven. flaps, and whatever turn out of there, and then reset our ITC or door. Beam, Malamanda, 08, passing 8,400 on descent, estimated. There is Mike up Hotel. For some reason, I was thinking he was going to be behind us, but okay. we could put our little cursor on here. It looks like he's 1,700 feet below us. He's on descent for an Ambu team. Okay, seeing seeing ridges, you know, to the north, or I guess it's to the west here, northwest. Quite see the ocean, but yeah, the cloud, the buildup is not real high. I mean, we're at 9,000 now. I think we're going to be able to skirt over top of it. Um, so there has not been a lot of buildup this morning. Oh, yet. not and, at all. Yeah, looking over to Bidang. 
possible. So yeah, I'll evaluate the winds when we get there, but I'm going to plan overhead and then a right um, downwind for runway 28. Are you seeing coastline just ah, just right over there? Yeah, but just, you know what though? I think that that is just so low. Like oh, it's right over top of the ridge. Um, yeah, it just looks like we're looking at like so much rain out over the okay. water that we're not really seeing any definition where these clouds stop and the rain. Okay. Yeah, because it looks like I'm barely seeing a ridge up there. Um, I don't really see anything out that way. I see the ridges over here. I see the ridges out there along the way. That's it. Not a lot. The biggest thing that I'm trying to focus on in the next two weeks is toning down your Class C stuff, because we've got quite a few of them over the next two. Yeah, probably no, the more than you've had oh, all yeah. together, oh, even yeah. with this, Brent. This is the, by far the most, I mean, and it's, in this and that's what you need days, is, yeah. is we've got a few today, yesterday, and then next week as well, we've got, I think, three days of potential doing Class C airstrips. That will just hammer this in, and then it will really help getting it all, like, now instead of three a month. I think from what I'm seeing, and seeing it, I see the coastline looks like over there. I think that that cloud layer right there is just, a, like, a scattered right on top of the ridge. And I think once we get past it, it's going to be clear, and we're going to have rain out over top of the ocean. Sure. Marcy, 126, decimal 7, November Tango Zulu, top of descent this time, revised estimate WEWAC 38. November Tango Zulu, no report of traffic for descent WEWAC. November Tango Zulu, thanks. All stations WEWAC, 126, decimal 7, Kodiak, November Tango Zulu is 25 miles to the south, 8,400 on descent, estimating WEWAC time uh, 38. All stations WEWAC. If you're a flight simmer, you want to try this same flight out of Malamunder or back into Malamunder from WeWAC or wherever else, uh, check the link down below. There's been some people that have actually created Malamunda for Microsoft Flight Sim. I don't think that I have an available patch for X-Plane, but uh, they did a great job on that. You can try that place out, fly the exact same circuit, and I'll throw up um, on my Patreon page like the trip charts so you guys can actually kind of see what the same stuff that we're going off of for flying the pattern and follow along with this video here. Uh, so now now we're getting closer. Now what do you see with these clouds? What, what does that tell you? I'm seeing ridge lines. It's right over the ridge. Yeah, it just, it kind of goes up over the ridge, and then, but there's another, it almost seems like there's a, it drops off and there's another layer on uh, the other side of it. Over top of the water, so I, maybe? I'm thinking, yeah, I want to just kind of shoot for the tops of the clouds Okay. on my descent, and then um, up down. I, I am seeing less on this side, so if I made a right turn here, um, I think that's going to up my chances of continuing my descent. And then just squeezing over top of that ridge exactly. over there. Exactly, yep, yep. Yeah, I think that's what that's, I would that's do. That's the lowest part, and then it's where the less, least amount of clouds are. And so we were, we were looking at this ridge yesterday, it was 1,800 feet, so these are going to be probably 2,100 feet at the minimum, okay. um, the tops of them. So yeah, we can get all the way down another probably four or 500 feet if we do over there. But yeah, I agree with you. I think these are just on the ridge. I think it's going to clear up, and then I think all those other clouds are actually another set of clouds over top of the water. And we got our V-Rep set. So it's got to go around. It's going to be increased power watching our needles. Watching for about 12, uh, 12 degrees, flaps 20. Actually, probably want to, I want to get my power in, then my flaps simultaneously pitching for the 12 degrees. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I just want to think through flaps quicker and then set the power in the go round and then I'll enter a, another uh, downwind for 2-8. All stations, WEWAC, Kodiak, November, Tango, Zulu's 1-0 miles to the south. 4,400, or passing 4,400, estimating circuit time, 3-7. All stations, WEWAC. It looks like we're going to have a nice tailwind down to, but dang, it was 19 knots just a second ago, which will be tailwind. Okay, so yeah, I think 2.8's going to make the most sense for, for landing with the prevailing winds. Do you try to get underneath or just um, stay on top and then descend afterwards? Oh, what does is, what is our descent profile look like as is? We're going 900, yep. and we'll be there. As is, it looks like we're going to go 
maybe two, thir two thirds of the way, or about, yeah, just about right through it. I'd probably just go right over top of it. Right. And then just drop on back down again. Okay, and I and I can slow down a little bit to help, you know, so I'm not getting far. But I I'm still going to be yeah doing the circuit. Otherwise, so I can leave I can lose a little altitude in the circuit as well. The reason I'm saying uh, you have more margin if you go over over, over the clouds. Yeah, or under, or over now you've got maybe a few hundred feet between the clouds and the ridge. Whereas this, you can just scrape the tops of the clouds, and then we can continue. It's just you and I. We can continue. Drop as far as we want. You. It does look like that other cloud's a little bit closer than maybe what I was anticipating, though. So I can, it looks I like can start seeing the airport environment. Yeah, yeah, I can too. No, I'm just saying it looks like they've moved in a little bit closer uh, gotcha. to the to the edge of the coastline than I was thinking. I was going to think that there was going to be maybe like at least a half a mile or something off the coast before they picked up, but it does not appear that way. Stations, we went Kodiak, November, Tango, Zulu's tracking overhead for uh, right downwind, runway 28. All stations, we went. It looks like rain's only about a mile off the edge of the coast now, or it was about seven miles when they left. Marsley, 126, decimal 7, November, Tango, Zulu, in the circuit, we went, cancel, sir. November, Tango Zulu, we were exhaust terminated. November, Tango Zulu, thanks. That looks like I'll get some more crosswind practice. There you go. <laughs> oh, actually, it does look like the rain's still out quite a ways, now that we're getting down underneath of it. Let's see, what do you see? Yep, that's all crosswind. Um, yep. Be a little lower uh, circuit. It looks more like down the runway, at least on that one. Oh, okay. Maybe a couple knots from the side, but not not like it was yesterday. So we're at 800 feet. And it were, I'll make that work. I just, yeah, it'll just put me a little closer for, for turn and final. And then so we got all the wind pushing me, so I just need to make sure I turn final a little sooner than I normally would. Not gonna really worry about the OBS. Got the distance here. 1.6, well, I'll, I'll tighten it up. We'll do like 1.4. There we'll get 20 degrees in. For our 450. 80 here and then 70 on final. Okay. And I probably want to keep turning. Where's my runway? One point eight flaps. All stations we went, Kodiak November Tango Zulu is uh, final two eight. Five hundred. First 400, we got 10 knots of headwind and four knots of crosswind. Oh, start correcting a little bit. Like I said earlier, if you'd like to see maybe some on-the-ground content out of Malamanda, I've done videos for my patrons where I walk around and throw the drone up and stuff. And um, Or if you're a flight simmer and you'd like to try some of these same flights out, definitely take the link or check on that link. So see you guys next time, and welcome here to WeWEC. 390.